I know about the Audubon from years from growing up as a young child and also the horrific event that took place here. But today was um, very important to me because I never had the opportunity to um, meet any of his children or come anywhere near the Shabazz family and, to, and especially for it to be Women's History Month. I just found the panel very informative and um, inspiring and also to hear about you know Dr. Shabazz's legacy it just resonated with me particularly because I'm a single black woman um, who, who's raised two children one who is an attorney now so I know what it is for the struggle and I can identify with Dr. Shabazz and it's just been a really very inspirational event. I thought it was very informative. I thought it resonated with everything that I've learned thus far about Dr. Betty Shabazz and her husband. Uh, I would definitely love if there were more panel discussions about the life and work of both Dr. Betty and Malcolm and in their future. I felt the panel discussion was definitely enlightening. Uh, we need a whole lot more of this. Like a lot of the panelists said, the struggle is not over. There's still a lot of work to be done. And um, it's not just on the behalf of those who, you know, have the big names, but a lot of people who are, you know, in the nooks and crannies, wherever our people live, wherever injustice is, they need to step their game up. They need to, you know, strive to take the lead of Malcolm and Dr. Betty Shabazz. I felt like I was being part of the history, learning about legacy that inspired the African American. I know it inspired me from my childhood, growing up with that spirit of determination, of self-worth, and giving back. I'm still on a, I'm still on a, on, a, on my own, on my own journey. Um, I'm, I'm going through my own transformations. I'm, a, I'm an international student from England, and coming to America and seeing that our, our issues transcend the, 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 the oceans. You know, the, the, the black person or the, the, the person of color around the world is an oppressed person. The only way that we can liberate ourselves is to, is to understand the minds of our oppressors and to understand and get an education that will enrich our human spirit, you know, and that therefore create a foundation for, for many more years to come. It, it definitely helped to add balance to a man I appreciated for so many years but didn't know as much about his wife and his daughters. And um, that started to become fulfilled when I read the Sister Ilias's book about 10 years ago and tonight just added to um, you know, fulfilling the testimony of Dr. Betty Shabazz's work to not only honor Malcolm, but to also honor the struggle that he uh, died fighting. You know? And just being here tonight is almost bittersweet. Why is that? We're in a space where Malcolm X was assassinated. But the sweetness of it is his continued legacy carried on by his family, close friends and associates. And tonight I feel honored because I'm here to experience this, to witness, and to listen, and to learn, and to just bask in this experience that I feel right now.